Hello, dancers. Hi, how are you today? Welcome back to pre-ballet and pre-ballet and tap class. I'm Miss Julie. I'm excited to bring a class to you today that is all about flow, bound flow and free flow, and also about how we can use our body to demonstrate these different flows, bound and free. Um, when I think about this, uh, an example that helps me is thinking about water. When you turn on your faucet, right, you turn it on, maybe to brush your teeth, the water starts and then it continuously moves. So think about air or water that's continuously moving, it never stops. This is free flow when we move in a continuous way. Imagine if you turned the water on and then off and then on and then off. This would be more like bound flow. It would start and stop and stop and stop and stop. So we're gonna explore that a little today in our brain dance and we're going to do an exploration and we'll put together uh, some choreography that alternates movement that is bound with movement that is more free flow. Okay, friends, we're gonna start today uh, with our brain dance on the floor. I've been doing a lot of my brain dances standing because it's really good for us to be up on our feet during this time. But today, as I'm looking outside, it's very snowy and cold and it feels a little warmer and cozier to be sitting um, on my mat today. So if you have a mat or a rug or carpet or a towel or a blanket, any of those are great for you to sit on uh, to do our brain dance warm up today, okay? And I'll give you just a moment to cozy up and decide how you're gonna sit on the floor and how you'll be able to still see the screen. I hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend. I'm thinking about you all the time. I look forward to when we'll be able to see each other again um, and dance together again in person. All right, I'm gonna start some music, you get settled. Okay, friends, just find a comfy, comfy way to sit. And we're going to breathe in, moving our arms really bound like a tower or like a mountain, and breathe out more like water or the wind. Breathe in and out. Brush, brush, brush. 
shoulders, faces, heads, chest, belly, back, hips, legs, all the way to our feet and our toes. All done. Very good, friends. All right, we're going to start with some mound flow in our tiny little rock shape. Then we're going to reach open to our big starfish shape and then close quickly back to this bound shape. Reach, two, three, close, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, good, four. Now we're gonna try doing the same thing, but we're going to flip open and close. So it's going to be faster and more free. Flip, close. Flip open, close. Can be a little wild. Flip it, close it one more time, and close. Same movement, just a little bit different feeling, right? Yes. We can reach and really be in control and consistent, or we can flick it, and draw it back in. All right, friends, we are going to put our feet together. Beautiful. All right, and let's just wiggle a little bit side to side. We're gonna rock side to side. We want to allow our backs and our necks to be really free. So maybe pretend like you're in water for a moment. What would that feel like if you were floating and your back was floating? You can go forward and backward a little. You don't want it to get too wild, especially with your neck, but very easy and free. Good, friends. All right, come back up to sitting. Kind of hold your body now in stillness. And we're gonna reach side to side with more control, okay? So consistent, like that water turning on and staying on. Good. You can put your hand on the ground as you reach with your back and your head and your arm. Come back up, sit really tall on your back, and then go to the other side. Good. Come back up. And a nice long stretch forward. And then stretch your toes forward. And then reach your fingers up. Good. And open. Beautiful, friends. Okay, so we're going to leave our legs right where they are. Okay? I'm going to scooch back just a little bit so you can see. I'm going to leave my legs together, very strong, and try to move my arms and my head and my back with free flow all around, but leave my legs where they are, okay? So I'm gonna start with just some reaches of my arm, and then maybe I get a little more twisty, throw some flicks in there. The whole while, I try to keep my legs still. Good, friends. Now, we're going to reach our arms to the side and hold our upper body still and see if we can move our legs around a little bit. It'll be a little bit harder sitting. It's a little bit of a challenge. Well, let's see what you can do. Can they float up in the air? Can they flick? <laughs> can they bend and press out? Good dancers. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to explore body side, right? We have a right body side, left body side. Let's start in our butterfly again. And we're going to think about opening and shutting a door with our different kinds of flow. We can open a door really smoothly and in control, or we can open a door quickly and slam it. We would never actually slam a door, right friends? but it gives us an example of 
that different kind of flow, okay? So let's use our arm and leg as a door. So we're gonna open the door, nice and slow and controlled. Open the other door, slow and controlled. Close. And other side, arm and leg together, close. Let's try it a little faster, but still in control. Open, close, close. Good, one more time. Open, open, close, close. So now we're gonna try it with our free flow, and we're just gonna swing it open, shut it. And we're gonna do the same side open, close. So we'll go swing it, shut it. Swing it, shut it. Swing it, shut it. Swing it, shut it. Swing, shut. One more. Swing, shut. Good. Shake it up. Very nice, friends. All right, we're going to reach. We're just going to take up uh, one foot. We'll take up our left foot. And we're just going to reach it across our body and give ourselves a little hug. So this is our cross lateral and very bound flow. We're going to be specific. Touch, back open. Cross touch, open, cross touch, open. Two more, cross touch. Good, now could we do that with a little bit more freedom? I think a swing might be fun. So you can try it in your own way. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go swing, open, swing, open. And if yours doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Let's just try it, swing, cross. Open, swing, and open. Good job, friends. Shake it all out. All right, we're gonna spin in place and then just do a little balance, okay? So I'm gonna scooch forward off my mat. It'll be easier to spin. Let's go three times around. And you can kind of let your head go a little bit to get a little bit more of that free flow and a little bit more of the dizziness that we're looking for in this part of our brain dance, okay? So ready? Here we go with our spin. Two, three, woo! Come to stillness. And let's see, can you pick up your feet? Can you pick up your arms? Oh, you're doing such a good job. All right, let's go the other way, ready? Here we go, start with our head. Keep going, spin. One more. Woo! Good job, everybody. Okay, last time. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Lift your toes. Lift your arms. Woo! Stretch it out. And finish. Nice job, everybody. Really good. Thank you for doing brain dance with me. Okay, friends, we are going to do an exploration here about moving and initiating with different parts of our body with both free movement. So remember like that water that's running, it's very continuous and bound. So it has a more stop, start, stop, and start to the movement, okay? Right now, I was just using one arm, okay? So let me show that again. I'm gonna use just my right arm to do free flow that continues moving or bound flow, more controlled, and it stops and starts and stops, starts. Okay, friends? So I'm gonna call out uh, different parts of our bodies. So I might say use your elbows or use your head or use your shoulders, knees, feet, legs, backs. And um, we'll start with some free flow movement and then change into more of our bound flow movement. Okay, friends? All right, here we go. We'll try it together. All right, let's start with our arms. So we can, do, we can use both arms. So we're not using our legs so much right now. Just want our arms to be free and continuous. And then let's 
let's change to more bound flow arms. So they're stopping and they're starting. And I'm very much in control. Good, I can see you using your arms in a bound way. All right, now I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. I'm gonna try moving my legs with some free flow. So they're very free, very continuous. And now, I'm gonna try some more bound flow. Start, stop, start, stop. Let's try using our elbows. What can we do with our elbows in a really free kind of way? Can they move on different levels? different directions. And now how can they start and stop? So they're much more What kinds of directions can your elbows move in? friends. Let's try moving our backs. So we think about our back, but it's this whole part of our torso all the way up to our neck. So let's free flow. And my, my legs and arms are going to go with my back. I'm going to try to move my back very free. Oh, and now music's changed. So now I want to move it more starting and stopping. Bound flow. everybody. Now you could use other body parts as well. You could dance with your head, with your shoulders, using just your feet, your knees, your hips. Okay, so you can try that as well. Let's get into some of our ballet and we'll talk about whether our movement feels bound flow, it's in control, it has, you know, sharper edges, stopping and starting, or whether it feels like free flow, like something continuous. Okay. Let's go to our first position. All right, arms also in first position. And we're gonna do a demi-plie and stretch. Demi-plie and stretch. Demi-plie and we're gonna rise right through that demi-plie, rise up and down. Then we're gonna allow our arms to float with flow, we're gonna open them to second, big reach and breath, and down. We'll go to second position and do the same thing. Maybe we'll put our hands on our hips for a second, and we'll do the same demi-plie and stretch, and demi-plie and stretch, and demi-plie and stretch, and releve, and down. And then let's take this arm high and float over to the side and then our right arm high and float it to the side. Okay friends, here we go. Alright, find your first position. Elevate, rise, and 
and back to first, arms are floating. Open through second. Nice breath. Andra. Tandu second position. Hands are on your waist. And gem. And stretch. Gem. And stretch. Good job, dancers. Demi. And stretch. Releve. Rise up. And down. Let's take our left arm. Float over. And up. Return that hand. Left. And up. Back to first. Good dancers. What did you think about those demi plies and those arms? Did they feel more bound to you? Did it feel more like when the water is starting and stopping? Or did it feel more like the water that's continuous, that keeps going? What do you think? Did it feel more bound or more free? You get to decide. For me, I think the plies, the bending, feels more bound. It feels more like I'm getting to an end place, even though it's very smooth. Um, and the arms feel more continuous to me, a little more free. Yeah. All right, um, let's go ahead and do another ballet exercise together. And this one's a little different. And for me, it's a little more free. I wanted one of our ballet exercises to feel more like free flow. So it's gonna have a little swing in it, friends, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna have my hands on my hips. And I'm gonna brush the leg front and let it swing. Now this is called an attitude. We're just gonna let our leg be a little bit bent, okay? So we're gonna swing it front, swing it back, swing it front, swing it back, close back to our first position. So we did front, back, front, back. And I want it to feel more free, okay? So you can really let that leg go. Then we'll do a tendu stretch, close first, tendu stretch, close first. That's more bound, right? It's really specific. We're going and reaching and returning to first, reach to the side, return to first. The other leg, we're also gonna swing and swing and swing and swing. And then tendu stretch, close to first. Tendu stretch, close to first. Right leg, swing and swing and front and back. And tendu, close to the side. Close, good left leg, swing, 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 swing. And tendu, front, side, good. Let's do the right side again, swing. Swing, 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 and front, close, front, close, and last time, really let it go, swing, 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 and front, close, and side, and a close. Good, friends, we're going to do our jumps together. Four jumps in first, a chape, a chape, we'll do it three times. You can do it. Ready? Dance. One, two, three, four. A chape. A chape. You got it, dancers. One, two, three, four. A chape. A chape. One more. One, two, three, four. A chape. A chape. Give me your best turn in soft space. And your. Yay, dancers! Wonderful job! All right, thank you for doing that ballet with me. We're going to move on to creating a dance together using our bound flow movements and our free flow movements. So some of our movements are naturally more free flow. Okay, so these might be uh, spinning 
or floating, twisting, um, running is very free. Flying, we fly with our arms is very free, okay? So those are some that we'll use. We'll use swing and fly and spin and run. Now, some of our movements are just naturally more bound flow, okay? So these could be things like jumping, hopping, um, marching, walking. They just take a little bit more control and they tend to be a little sharper with more stop, stops and starts, okay? So uh, we're just gonna pick some of those and do them together. I'm gonna do it with you and it's okay if you make some different choices. I love for you to make choices right now in your dancing in your own space, okay? Uh, let's start with swing. So I'm going to use the word swing. My swing is going to look like this. Swing, 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 swing. Okay? And then uh, fly. So these are free movements. I'm going to fly in a circle because that's kind of the space that I have. So I'm going to fly, fly, fly fly <laughs> and I just want to move really freely think like a hummingbird or a butterfly really around the space that I have okay so I started with swing and then I went to fly 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 then we're going to change our movements to more bound flow and we're going to do march and port de bras so if you don't remember what port de bras is i'll show you in just a moment you'll remember all right so march is going to be in place march two three four we're going to do ten six seven eight nine ten and then my port de bras with my arms it's really any carriage of the arms from one position to another but the one we use the most in class is first position to fifth to second, back on bas to low. Okay, friends? So let's just try that much with just those two. Today, for fun, we're counting in tens. A lot of time we count in threes or fours or eights. But today we get to count this in ten. Okay, so we'll do ten counts swing. 10 counts fly, 10 counts march, and then 10 counts of our ballet arms, okay? Let's start with that, and then we'll, we'll add on. Very nice. All right, good job. So that's part one. We're gonna add a second part, okay? So let's just go through it one more time with our words. We did swing, 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 and then fly, 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 and you can go maybe forward and backwards or in a circle around your space. Then we did our marches, march, 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 march. And then our ballet arms low to high and open and down. So that's part one. Part two, we're gonna choose different words that are free and bound. Um, and our first ones are spin. We love to spin. I know you all love to spin. And run. Now, when we run, we need to look around, make sure we have space and we're being really safe, okay? Especially if you're dancing with someone else today too. Uh, so let's start with those, ready? You're gonna do spin for 10 counts. Now you could go five counts one direction, five counts the other direction, or you can just spin for 10 counts in one direction, okay? So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. There's my 10 counts of spinning. Then I get to run. <laughs> you can do a more ballerina run or you can just run like a runner, okay? I'm gonna run for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so that's our next layer of free movement is spin and run. All right, lastly, we're gonna do a step hop um, and a walk, okay? And we will do a ballet walk, okay? So our step hop, I'm gonna step on my right foot and go step, hop, step, hop. If you can take a little chasse or a side step, that's great. All right, so there's our 10. We're gonna do five of those. Then we're just gonna walk, and you can walk in a circle, toes first, two, three, four, five, okay? So that's part two. Let's try it all together, friends, and I'll shout it out what, what the first movement is, okay? And um, we'll listen for some cues in the movement, or in the music as well. All right, here we go, starting with our swings. Swing, swing, fly. March. our step hop. Good. Ballet walks. And finish. Good job, dancers. Nice. That was great. Really good job. Excellent. Um, let's try it one more time, okay? Yeah, one more time from the beginning. I'll say it out loud, try it together. Maybe you can make different decisions about which way you go or where you go in the room. You can use your arms in different ways when we're doing steps with our feet. Okay, you get to decide. Here we go, one more time. Swing. Ballet walks. And finish with your own pose. Very nice dancers, good job. Excellent work, all right. Dancers, we're gonna do um, just a little bit of stretching here in a moment. And then those of you that are going to stay for tap, We'll take a little break and put our tap shoes on. Right now, if you can grab your mat or towel or blanket, or maybe you were already sitting on carpet, go ahead and just return to that. We're just gonna do a couple stretches together, okay, friends? I'm gonna turn my camera so that it's down towards the floor again. All 
right. Very good, friends. Um, start on your butterfly just to bring one leg straight. So we were in a butterfly. You brought one leg straight. Good. Then reach your arms high. You can flex your toes or point your toes. And we're going to reach over. Your choice for today. one is bent and I have my other leg and it's right in front of me, right? It's right in front of my belly button. It's not out to the side. It's just right in front. I'm going to carve my arms with some bound energy high and then reach my whole body. And I'm trying to reach my, my back and my neck and my head and my arms and my fingers all together. Taking a deep breath over these legs and over towards my toes. And then come up and you can put your hands down on your mat or your carpet. Uh, toes out in front. And we're going to flex our toes and reach them. And flex them and reach them. Try to go a little further. Flex. Flex. Let's make bunny ears in honor of our recent visits from the Easter Bunny. We make bunny ears. One goes up, one goes down. Good friends. Both up. Well, let's see if we can reach past those toes. Just do your best. If you can't quite reach past them, that's okay. You're going to just reach as far as you Friends. Now, you can keep your toes flexed, all right? You can keep them flexed as you reach them side to side. Uh, let's take our left arm and we're going to reach and try to get toward, it doesn't have to touch, but try to get toward this toe over here, all right? And you're really feeling long and you're using all of the different parts of your body together. So this leg is nice and strong and then you're reaching with your arm and your back and your head and then roll it up and lift up tall good friends let's go the other way over towards this toe good you want to make sure your arm stays over your ear it's not in front of your body like this but it's over your ear good friends up and let's go ahead and put our hands on the floor and you can try to sink down in a little bit bringing your head with your body maybe you can put your hands on the floor maybe you can put your elbows on the floor maybe you can put all of your body on the floor you go however far you can go okay friends doing pre-ballet class today with flow and um, talking about how to use the different parts of our body when we're dancing with free flow and bound flow. All right, we're going to switch now to tap. So if you have uh, tap shoes or some inside shoes or you would like to do tap in your ballet slippers, that is great. Um, whatever shoes you're going to wear for tap, please put those on now. And um, I'm get, I usually don't wear my tap shoes, but I'm going to try them today um, just to see if the sound is different and, and how it works for you guys, okay? Okay, friends, welcome back. Um, if you have your tap shoes on or your uh, street shoes that you can wear indoors or you're wearing your ballet slippers for tap, those are all great. 
Um, I'm gonna wear my tap shoes today. I feel like they might be a little bit sharp sounding and loud. So if you, if you feel like it's too sharp for your ears, you could turn the volume down a little bit or ask uh, mom and dad to, to turn the volume down a little bit for you, okay? Um, we're gonna start with some toe taps. We wanna make sure we're just moving our ankle, right? I know this isn't my ankle, it's my wrist, but it's kind of the same movement, right? We just move our ankle for our toe taps. Um, then we'll do some heel steps and some toe back steps, uh, and then we'll work on some of our shuffles. Okay, friends, here we go. To the front, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the side. Shake out your ankles. Give them a little twirl. Good. Let's do some heel steps. shake out our hands and our arms, give them something to do. All right, we're gonna work on our shuffle. So we start by picking up our knees, right? We go shuffle, step, shuffle, step. It starts with our knee. I'm gonna turn mine out so you can see better. You can see that knee going up. Good, couple more. Good, friends. All right, bend those knees. Let's take a couple shuffle hop steps together. We go shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step. just a, a, a 
shifting of weight from back toe to front foot. Ball, change, ball, change, ball, change. You can do it a little faster. Good. Try your other foot. We'll start a little slow. Pick it up, put it behind. everybody really nice okay before we go today I just want to look at one other step that we can practice and uh, continue doing together and it's called the paradiddle all right we've looked at this one before so but it starts with toe back toe back then I'm going to scuff my toe I'm gonna to go scuff toe heel then I put my other toe back toe back scuff toe, heel, toe back, scuff, toe, heel, toe back, scuff, toe, heel. Yeah, let's try it with some music. job. Nice. So that's a movement that you can work on. You don't necessarily have to have your top shoes on to practice it. Um, it's in four parts. Toe back, then scuff the toe, set the toe down, set the heel down, and it alternates from right to left. All right, friends, I hope you're having fun doing things at home with your families. Um, you're able to see your friends or your other family members or your classmates um, the way that we're seeing each other right now through through all of these um, different apps and platforms. I'm really grateful that uh, the other teachers and I can still share some dance with you uh, and I'll see you.
next time. Be well, everyone. Bye-bye.